Hi everyone, I'm Tom Evans, a 31 year old British ultra distance trail runner based in the UK. I left the military in 2019 to become a full time ultra distance trail runner and I find it really interesting sort of all the work that I put in behind the scenes that and people get to see it on race day but I guess what I want to share is that journey of getting from yeah, from training what my life looks like to, to and including racing. Yeah, so you can see the, the highs, the lows, the lifestyle, um, and yeah, hopefully um, find it super interesting. I joined the military straight after my A-levels, so when I was 18, um, and I went to Sandhurst, and I then commissioned from Sandhurst into the Welsh Guards uh, in 2012, um, and then served until 2019. So I signed up to my first ultra race, uh, which was Marathon de Saab, 250 kilometer multi-stage self-supported race in the Sahara Desert. Uh, I signed up, to, signed up to it as part of a drunk bet with some friends who did it in 2016. Um, so I then did the 2017 edition. I didn't have a coach. I, I didn't necessarily follow a particularly strict training program. If I had two hours, I'd run for two hours. And I hadn't really expected to do particularly well, so I'd have loved to finish in the top 50. Um, but I ended up finishing on the podium, um, which was a complete, complete surprise. And I guess from there, I had a good 2017 and then a really good 2018 and just had some great opportunities to be able to turn full time into race professionally. And yeah, after, after my 2018 season, uh, I handed in my notice for the army because in order to be as good as I possibly can be, I needed to be super consistent. And the one thing of working, especially in the military, was, geez, I didn't know what I was doing in two days time, let alone two months time. So the decision to leave was, yeah, 100% just to be able to focus solely on on running um, and, yeah, see see what I, what I could achieve. So, yeah, now... It's now May 2023, um, and yeah, obviously a lot's happened since 2019. Um, but yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty wild, crazy journey, and sometimes I've still got to pinch myself. Yeah, so 2023 um, is a big year. I started racing pretty early. I guess for me, this year is very focused on racing in the US. So I raced Black Canyon's 100K um, in February and. Since then, and including that, I've been preparing for the Western States 100. Um, I raced Western States in 2019, and that was my first 100 miler. And for me, these big races, they're more than just races. What I really love about them is the history of the race. And Western States 100 itself started out as a horse race, and it's the original 100 miler race, 100 mile foot race. and what I wanted to do was to be part of that history and to really sort of fully immerse myself in the journey of the race. Having done it in 2019 and I had a good result there um, that I was really happy with and sort of snuck under 15 hours and finished on the podium. I made a lot of mistakes in the training uh, and in the race and it was my first 100 mile race. And yeah, it's a, uh, for me, it's the, peak of my season, um, end of June 2023, 100 miles uh, on the Western States Trail. I think the nice thing about Western States and the difficult thing to prepare for is the, just the environment. Like You start it just over 2,000 metres above sea level in Olympic Valley and it's likely because of all the snow there's been in the US this year that the first 30 miles are going to be in snow. So it's pretty difficult to train on sort of in the UK because we've not got snow but we've got lots of mud um, which is kind of the same thing sort of putting out a similar a similar sort of load then it gets super hot and it also probably get up to late 30s early 40s degrees um, and you've got to run for 100 miles. So there's so much can go right, so much can go wrong. So yeah, this is a very, very US focused year and good timing that that's just finished because the doorbell's about to go off and the dogs are gonna bark. There we are. Good morning.
I think this year at Western State, it's probably the most competitive deep field that I think it's ever been, which is really exciting. It's a, it's a relatively small race um, compared to a UTMB Mont Blanc. And to be able to have so many top level guys and girls is, yeah, is truly exciting and really inspiring. And I really hope we'll just continue to grow the sport and yeah, to grow that race. So I think what, I guess what we've done is with, and I say we is my team and I am not the expert in, in 99% of the areas. So being able to work with physiologists, physios, my coach, what we have done is just, yeah, try and how can I just try and optimize my performance to be as good as I possibly can in a race like Western States and not just a race like Western States, but in Western States. And I guess what the real sort of big issues, um, nutrition is going to be a huge one. So we've been working really closely with my nutrition partner, Morton. Um, one, to make sure that we're getting enough carbohydrate uh, during the race, but then two, helping in developing new products in order to optimize performance. Because in a ultra endurance sport, the main reason for failure and not achieving your goals is stomach issues, GI issues. So for me, being able to use Morton to yeah be able to give me those carbohydrates and by using their hydrogels really genuinely does allow me to get in the nutrients that I need, the carbohydrates that I need in order to to fuel that performance. So that's been a huge, a huge factor. And I guess then secondly, um, and arguably more important for me uh, is dealing with the heat. What's been a really fun project with this is working with Red Bull, a performance physiologist um, who's yeah been really specializing in the heat. What we have done is yeah created this protocol that we really think is gonna help to optimize the performance, but not forgetting that in doing the nutrition and doing the heat, this is the the not quite marginal gains, a little bit more than that, but there's still the demand of the race. I've still got to be able to run a hundred miles in I in my opinion, I think the race, depending on the weather, will be won in significantly under fifteen hours this year and pretty close to fourteen uh hours is if I was a, a betting man. So yeah, I've got to be able to got to be able to do that before thinking about doing working on the heat, working on the nutrition. So yeah, it's been a, a really rounded approach for the race. The goal is Western States to have my very, very best performance on the day. And I think the nice thing about ultra distance trail running is yes, what other people do is important. But for me, if I give, if I'm able to have my very best day on the trail, then I'll be happy with it. And for me, that will be, that is the goal is to be able to do everything I can do in training to have the best possible day and then to execute a really good race that was at the top of my ability. And if, if my best is good enough to be the best, then great. And if it's not, then fair play to the other competitors who were there. And I want to have a, I want to have a great race. I want to enjoy it. I'm about to go off to Flagstaff, Arizona for an altitude camp and combine some altitude with some heat. And I've already done quite a lot of heat work in the lab here in Loughborough. So yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be, a, like I've said a lot, it's been a wild journey so far and I imagine this build up will continue to be, be pretty bonkers. And um, yeah, just really looking forward to doing everything I possibly can to try and have the best possible day out on the course.